day one of Des Moines Con 2024. Uh, it's Friday. We are just finishing getting set up. It is almost 11 o'clock. The hall opens at 1. Um, so that's when we will expect attendees to filter in. Um, but we are just getting ready, checking out everyone that's set up so far. Um, I have my new Fallout Tunnel Snakes cosplay on. I'm really excited. It's super good to be back here. Um, we had a lot of good times last year at Des Moines Con, so we are excited to be here. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, got breakfast in our bellies, got some caffeine in our systems, and we are ready to go. So that's the entrance over there. That's where everyone's going to be coming in. Um, so we're right in this main aisle. However, I believe when the con first opens that people are probably going to whoosh right past us because that's where the autographs are. <laughs> Um, so, hopefully they come back around, but that's kind of how it was last year. Um, most people kind of just went straight for the celebrities first and then made their way around. But I think we got a pretty good spot. Um, we're right across from Jet. And I do have a few new things. Um, this sticker I just did. <laughs> this one. My Undertale stickers are newer. Um, this one and Angel Dust. And then this one of my OC, Orion. He's an alien. Super cute. And then these two Fallout prints are brand new too. It's about 7.40, we've got about 20 minutes till the vendors hall closes. Um, today was really good for a Friday. I had a pretty constant flow of traffic past my table, um, pretty constant sales. We had a couple little spurts of like a rush, um, but I have almost made today what I made the whole weekend last year. So I think that speaks to how my booth has improved and how much more, more inventory and work I have. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And that seems to be a trend with shows I'm doing this year is I'm like meeting those goals um, because I feel like it's because my booth has improved. So yeah, I'm super tired. Um, so we are going to finish up here and then go back to the hotel and find something to eat and then pass out. I am dying. <laughs> It is Saturday, day two of Des Moines Con. Um, we just got in, doors open in about half an hour. Yesterday was a bit of a pleasant surprise. Um, like I said, this is the first year that Des Moines Con is three days, so we weren't sure what to expect for Friday. Um, it wasn't like insanely busy, but it was a pretty steady flow of people, um, and we had a few spots where it got a little busy and there were some also some quiet periods but overall it was pretty steady and we did really really well hello it's about 5 30 um, we have about an hour and a half left before the dealers hall closes so um, things kind of slowed down quite a bit because the cosplay contest started so we've had a couple hours of kind of slow times but still been making sales which is good so um, Today so far has been a bit better than yesterday, so um, we're about to reach my goal that I had, which is good also. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep on trucking.
it is day three of Des Moines Con, the final day. Um, we got some coffee. Yesterday was really good. Um, it was a bit of a slow and steady day, um, but we were really happy with the number we ended on. Um, past my goal that I had. So anything we make today is gonna be just icing on top. So um, yeah, yesterday was good. It's really cold in here. Um, they already have the AC kicked on and yesterday it was just freezing miserable. So um, I, uh, I'm wearing full pants today. This is actually a jumpsuit and I just folded the top down because I wanted to wear long pants and I only brought shorts. So, um, oh, and also my new cat bus shirt that I got from Astro Witch. She is awesome. You should look her up. Does amazing pixel art. Um, I'll put her screen name here. But yes, we are about to open up for the day. And um, like I said, anything we do today is just gonna be extra on top of the goal that I already had. So we are good. out of a lot of stuff. Sold out of my FMA print, my Inosuke. I'm about to sell out of my bluey magnets. Um, and then a couple of my stickers. Branded on some of those things, I only brought like two or three just because I hadn't reordered them in a while. Um, but hey, I still sold out. <laughs> June 18th and I just wanted to share some final thoughts on Des Moines Con 2024. I'm currently in the midst of con prep for Anime Fest Wichita this weekend so I wanted to get this video done and out because I'm gonna have two cons almost back to back that I'm gonna do videos for so I wanted to get this one out of my backlog so I can focus on getting ready for my next convention and then working on those videos as well. And Tulip is here making her scheduled appearance for the final thought segment. <laughs> so yes, we had a great time at Des Moines Con this year. It was our second year in that convention and um, I did a lot better than last year. And I think that was for a few reasons. Um, the biggest was that my booth is a lot different and I have a lot more inventory. Friday was pretty decent sales wise for it being the first day. Saturday was really good as well. Um, there were some really slow times on Saturday, especially when the cosplay contest started, but we were pretty consistently making sales. And even when it slowed down, people, when they would come by, even if they were fewer and far between, when they would come by, they would still, they would spend money each time. So, you know, it was just a little more spread out. So Saturday was really good, and at that point we had met the goal that I had in my mind. So Sunday, anything we made on Sunday was just extra, and I believe Sunday we did a little bit better than we did on Friday. I've kind of been letting Tanner take the reins on the booth setup and you know what we want to change or improve 
from con to con and so I've kind of just been letting him do that and it's one less thing I have to worry about and he's doing a great job because each con we've done since we've been changing things and kind of streamlining things we've done better and better so I'm really thankful to have someone to help me with that I'm just really proud of how far I've come in a year um, well over a year since I've been doing Artist Alley but the year since Des Moines Con last year. If you go back and watch my Des Moines Con vlog from last year, you can see how different the booth was. Um, and I just feel like we're really hitting hitting our stride in that department. I, I feel like my art has improved also, but you know, having a nice uh, cohesive and well put together booth is a big part of Artist Alley. Especially when you're, you're trying to compete with everyone else on the floor, you gotta have something that is really easy for people to look at and you know eye-catching and there's always something you can do to make that work a little better so we have a few things we're going to be trying for the next few cons we've got some lights to use and you know each con we're going to have to adapt the setup a little bit because we're going to have different amounts of space but overall i think it's it's going to be pretty easy to kind of adapt so yeah, super fun times in Des Moines. We're excited to go back to Des Moines in September. And I have Anime Fest Wichita this weekend, which that was one I did last year. I made a short on it last year. If you go go to my page and check it out. Um, I'm gonna try to make a full length vlog this year. And actually last year I did record all the footage to make a vlog, but I just hit a point where I was like, I can't. I just I'll just make a little a little short and call it good because I have too much too much going on right now so that happens but this year I'm gonna try to make a full vlog on it because we really enjoyed it last year and I'm going to be in the vendor hall as opposed to the artist alley so that'll be a little bit different experience but yes we have that and then we have Fan Expo Denver a couple weeks after that um, right now my after that, my July and August are pretty well open, so unless something comes up, I will have another con until Animate in September. But I will keep making art, we'll keep working on the booth, and keep an eye out for the Wichita and Denver vlogs to come out because they will come out. I will be making videos. That is a threat. <laughs> I got a lot of comments and had people reach out, you know, that they had watched my vlog for Des Moines Crown from last year. So I told him I was making another one for this year. So if you are watching, hello, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff. Follow my Instagram if you aren't already. That's where I'm most active in terms of posting my new art and convention updates and all that good stuff. So thanks again and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.